here I am overlooking the Mississippi River in South St. Paul, Minnesota, my hometown. Just wrapping things up for the week here in Minnesota and uh, met with some clients in, on the south side. And they started thinking about what the key ingredients of a merger acquisition transaction. We all know about the three T's, right? Which I keep discussing. My philosophy is T1 is trust between the buyer and seller. Transparency between the buyer and seller. And the timeline between the buyer and seller, how important it is. And there's always some type of pushback on deals. And, uh, and it's been months, believe me, it's been months on these deals. Uh, you could say we could close in 120 days. Uh, my record 62 days between a buyer and a seller that was successful. And uh, otherwise, believe me, it's six months to nine months, could be even a year, okay? And what sellers don't understand, there's three critical aspects of a merger and acquisition. And it's very complex to the seller because the seller is very emotional. It's their baby. They built their business. They don't realize that these three components are the opinion, the opinion of both the buyer and the seller, the strategy and so on. But what's really important at the end of the day are the facts, the data, the financials. And the most important to close a deal is the agreement. That's legal. It's regulated. So I get pretty excited about it. But I'm also sharing my, uh, my thoughts about my experience. And what I see, and it gets very frustrating when someone tries to tell me that I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a lawyer. I admit that. And I, when I don't know something, I'm open to ask the professional a legal description, definition to a layperson like myself, the financial information, okay? Opinion, strategy, like ability, chemistry, that's very important too. But as I start moving forward in my life, after 50 years of serving the industry, by the way, it's all in my book. These are a, a few of the last comments I have to say because as I move forward in my world, in my love of family, my love of life, it's not about my career and it's surely not about your career. But I sold my first business, Vomela especially in 1993. I was 39 years old. So I've had 30 years, actually November 1993, that I sold my company, Vomela especially company, and I've progressed during those 30 years. I've learned something. I've grown. I've also gr uh, raised a family. And my network, is, my global network is vast and valuable, very valuable. So what I wanted to leave you with basically the question is, what do you think is important? Is it your opinion? Is it your expectation? Is it all about you? Are you the smart, the smartest one in the room? Or are you in the wrong room? So that's where it is today. So it's the month of August, 2023. And it's Godspeed, man. A lot going on in the world. And in my world is, I'm just trying to be at peace. I have hope, I'm content, and I'm moving on. So if I could help you, 
when I help you, you just call me. RockLamana.com. Another uh, inspirational item is my book, is my story about building, buying, and selling businesses within our family of entrepreneurs. So uh, take a peek. And uh, you just got to get knowledgeable, man. And uh, don't fight the system. There's a lot of logical, smart people out there that are trying to do the right thing. And it's not, in the seller's case, it's not all about you. It's about the future. It's about your family. It's about your suppliers. It's about your employees. And I'll tell you, you make the wrong decision. Shame on you. So, uh, good luck. You'll be hearing from me as I move forward. I'm pretty excited, man. Pretty excited about the future. So, once again, Rock Lamana. I'll see you in the marketplace. Talk to you soon.